What is up guys, Dave's Basket here. Another attempt at the Google experience for your Amazon Fire tablet. This is the Fire 8 and um, we're running the Fire OS at the moment. Um, which one, I don't remember. I'll have a look, see which Fire OS it is. Let's check device. And system updates. Cool, so this is running Fire OS 5.3.3.0 and um, I don't know whether or not it's got any updates available but anyway, I'm going to be showing you the Google experience on the Fire OS so you can see here that I've got my custom launcher um, this is a Nova launcher that I'm using at the moment and um, it gives me basically as close to stock Android um, as possible and it also allows me to have uh, all the icons of Android as well, which is quite cool. Um, and you know, I'm using Google Calendar on here. Um, you know, Gmail, Outlook, Android Pay doesn't actually work, um, but you can still download it on on this. Um, but what it does mean is that you can use all of your coupons and things because it will come up with the barcode for you to use, which is cool. But this tablet doesn't have NFC. Um, but what it does mean that it opens up scope for the future. If they bring out a new version that does have NFC, then that might be something that you can enable. Um, and then I also got the Google stock camera as well, because I think it works a lot better. It's got higher shutter speeds than the stock camera application on here. And we've also got our Google Now, um, so that I can get all of my cards here and use OK Google as well. That doesn't actually work um, because you can't go into the settings of the Fire tablet to set the microphone to always be on or give the application permission to do that um, nor can you get OK Google uh, recognition from like any screen um, simply because the application doesn't have the permission to turn on the microphone um, again due to the specs and the limitations of having the Fire, Fire OS but as you can see, the launcher here works pretty well. Um, we've got all of our stuff in the app drawer here, which is quite cool. Um, it's just so much more clean, uh, so much more easy to use, just as if I've got a normal Android tablet. The search function works well up here as well, which is quite cool. So um, yeah, man, definitely check it out. The way in which I've got this was by uh, having access to the Play Store. The Google Play Store is something that you can download um, online. Um, I'll leave a link to the tutorial of that um, so that you guys can do the same thing. Um, there's plenty of videos uh, instru of instructions of how to get Play Store on, on the Amazon Fire tablet and it all works fine. There's no routing required. There's no, um, there's no complication about this process whatsoever. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> sometimes the home button can be quite glitchy, um, but I've assigned the home, I've assigned the tablet so that every time I press the home button, um, there's an application that actually uh, tells the tablet to open up the launcher so that when I press that home button it doesn't go back to the normal Fire OS launcher, it actually opens a Nova launcher and in order to achieve that um, I had to download this application called uh, launch, uh, Launcher Hijack. Um, and as soon as you download that, uh, it will be able to reassign that home button for you or detect every time that you touch the home button, so that will bring up the launcher. But as you can see, it is a little bit glitchy right now. Um, so yeah, that about, that about wraps it up. Um, stay tuned so we can give you some more uh, videos later on. And um, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see, man, because there's so many different things we can, we can talk about. But yeah, peace.